So hey guys, this was originally just going to be one long thing, but it ended up being a couple hours long, and I don't want to have to subject you guys to something like that, so I'm going to, this is just going to be the unboxing. Um, next week, or maybe later on this week, I'm going to put up the video of the actual playing of the system. So if you like the unboxing, stick around, and we'll do that. I'll see you guys in this video. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's been a while, but I'm back. Oops. Let's see if I can get this to not. Well, anyway, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, Super Nintendo Classic Edition, the mini one. Let me turn it around here. Um, this came out. I think it was last year. Um, but, um, I just now got one. So, I think what I probably should do is, if I can, I'm going to try to go through each one of these games and give them any uh, thoughts on it. Uh, we've got Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby Superstar, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, first time on anything in the United States released, uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch Out, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and Yoshi's Island, uh, which is uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, or Super Mario World 2, I should say. Um, I've owned quite a few of these games on Super Nintendo back in the day. Um, especially, we had Contra 3, Donkey Kong Country, never had Earthbound or Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, I don't know if we had Kirby Superstar, but we had Dream Course, which was like the golf game. Uh, Mega Man X, which is probably my favorite in the series, is Mega Man X. Um, never... I like Mega Man, but I'm not a huge fan of like the original compared to X. X is just better, I think. Uh, Secret of Mana. I don't think I don't know if we ever owned that one, but it, it I played it before at a friend's. Uh, Star Fox. Uh, I think at one point we did. I can't remember. Uh, Street Fighter Two Turbo. I don't know if we had this specific edition, but we had one of them. Um, Super Castlevania Four. I have that one now, but I don't know. I don't think I had it back in the day. Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I love the Castlevania series. I'm actually probably going to do a playthrough of uh, Symphony of the Night for uh, for October. Um, Super Mario Kart. Ghouls and Ghosts we never had. Uh, Mario Kart, of course. Super Mario RPG, definitely. That's probably one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And hopefully Gino gets into Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, Super Mario World, of course. Uh, Super Metroid, yes. Punch-Out, Super Punch-Out, no, never had that one. Um, I like the games, I, was, I never, you know, they weren't like my favorite, but they were cool. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, yes, and Yoshi's Island, for sure. So, um, this is just the intro, and um, where's the camera at? Oh, it's down there. Like, Hopefully this is not backwards. Um, <laughs> so, um, this is the intro. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, a little bit down the line, we're gonna I'm gonna get, set this up, and then we'll get started on uh, looking at some of the game the, these games if I can talk. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside of this thing. I have yet to open it. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming it's Super Nintendo. Hopefully, I open it up and it's like <laughs> it's a bomb. Okay, so nothing's in there. Just kidding. Um. So, we've got a, we've got this, this is, uh, let's see here, I'm assuming this is like, don't put this bag over your kid's head kind of stuff. So. Oh, we got the warranty and user agreement information, okay, it's pretty standard, well, not really these days, I guess you don't like this kind of stuff. Pretend is always good. Now you're playing with superpower, brother. Okay, so we got uh, a cool poster. 
that folds out and shows the games there. I think that's all of them. I, I would assume so. I don't know why they leave any of them out. Since there's, you know, a certain number on there. Uh, then we've got, uh, on the back is the instructions on how to hook this up. Um, it looks like it hooks up via, let's see here, USB, uh, via USB for the uh, AC adapter power, I guess that's, uh, anyway, uh, HDMI, of course, output, and then we've got the two con controllers that it comes with. It's in multiple languages here. I only speak the one. American. No, it's kind of English. Um, <laughs> that's not funny. Is that funny these days? I'm not sure. Um... Okay, so we've got, oh my god, but, dude, the system is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but, so we've got, uh, the controllers, very nice, very nice, they're, uh, they're exactly like the original controllers, I like the way they feel, though, they're a lot more, um, they have this texture on them, that, like, is almost kind of like, uh, I don't know, I can't really describe it, it's, it's, it's not like a, a smooth texture, but then here's, yeah, that's like a, the classic controller right there, L and R, okay. And uh, let's see, let's look at the, the cord length here. Um, if I can unwrap it. Okay. They put, oh my God. So they put a twist tie over the bag it was in, and then they put a twist tie on the thing. I guess that's probably to keep the, the bag on. Okay, so. That's, that's pretty long. Oh, so it's like the controller kind of, that kind of reminds, is that like the super or the, that like plugs into the bottom of a Wiimote kind of deal. That right there. Oh, sorry. Get that in focus, kind of. Okay. Sorry, camera's down here. I keep looking. I really hope I didn't put my camera or my yeah my camera upside down because it would. Because uh, I'm using my phone right now. I mean, my camera's kind of out of commission. I said, you know, it's good. I'll use my phone. People are filming entire movies on phones now, so you know, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. So, oh, okay. So sorry, we've got the other controller. It looks exactly like that. Then we've got, uh, here's the power the USB plugs into in its own bag. Thrilling stuff. We've got the HDMI cable. No one's ever seen one of those before. Uh, yeah, so looks to be pretty lengthy. I mean, it's good. I've got longer ones here, so if I need to, I can use that. Uh, and then here's the USB that plugs into the back for the power and then goes into the AC. I'm assuming you could plug that into like a computer if you needed to run the power, but it's like I've got a, a thing right here, so I don't really need to do that. But I guess that's if you go to a place that you didn't have a power outlet, but you needed to plug it into a laptop maybe? But then you'd be sucking the power in anyway. Okay, so wait, hold on. This is different than I thought it would be. Um, so one end of this is like this, that goes into the power thing. Like, it's a regular USB, and the other is like this, I think that's like the same thing that charges up the controller and all that for the... They must be moving over to that. Uh, the, I think that's like the USB-C, maybe? Like mini or whatever it's called. And then here we go. This is the Super Nintendo Mini. I can pretty much, I mean, I don't think I can fit that into my pocket. Well, nope, yeah, I can, okay. Let me uh, stand up here. So, it's on the go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I mean, I, I've got kind of big pockets, depending, but still, I can't believe that. So yeah, here we go. So on the back it shows HDMI out, and this is one out focus thing. It's being kind of weird. Okay, whatever. That's as close. That's as good as it's gonna get. So where the hell do you plug the controllers in? Uh, 
So it should. Oh, wait, hold on. Do these come? Nope. Seems like it's moving. I probably should read the instructions, honestly. Uh, it seems like it wants to just come out. I don't know why it's being a freaking idiot. Uh, where did I put. Oh, there we are. And here I was, you know, saying, oh, these. Well, I don't know if they said he needs instructions. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, seizure, blackouts. Okay, open the front cover by hooking your fingers below and gently pulling up. Oh, okay, so there's like these little grooves on the bottom. Oh, and you just pull it like that, and that's where the controllers go. Okay. Hmm. I guess that's kind of cool to, like, you know, keep it dust-free. So. so Here's the Super Nintendo Mini. You know, we sh I showed that to you guys before. Here's the regular Super Nintendo. Freaking... 1991. Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo Mini. There's a size on that. The front. The back. It's like... Yeah, it's like you could fit at least a couple of these on it or inside of it. So just comparison, another size comparison. And here are some of the games that are actually in this collection that I actually dug up and found them. Super Mario RPG, that copy doesn't work anymore because the battery died on it and it doesn't keep a save. So that's one of the reasons why I actually got this collection because that's one of my favorite ones and it just... Once, I mean, the battery can be replaced, but it's like the save's gone, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start over. So, that's, that's a, that's Super Mario World, and that's the Super Nintendo Mini. So, like, lengthwise like that, they're, exa they're about the same. I mean, you could, it's almost, <laughs> like, with a little overlapping, it's like, uh... Like, I can fit both of these in my pocket. That's pretty ridiculous. I guess I didn't really, un you know, the size-wise. Um, I don't know if I have a controller to, you know, kind of, like, compare those. But I'm assuming they're exact same size. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get started on it here for sure.